Hey, what's up guys? Video service information here. Looking at this 2016 GMC Sierra today. The vehicle's got around 110,000 miles on it. The customer's complaint was check engine light on after truck started to slip and stutter. It was revving in drive, now it won't go forward or reverse. The P0796 OnStar message occurred. Now if you guys listen to the end, I'll go over the possible causes of all this transmission issues with the 6L80 and the 6L90. It's got the 5.3 engine and the 6L80 in it. Now that P0796, that transmission pressure control solenoid, its purpose is to control the pressure of the fluid for the proper operation. Due to the lack of pressure in the transmission, it has set a diagnostic trouble code, and that's why they we're getting that P0796. With the torque converter coming apart and sending debris through the pump, damaging it. The damaged pump is not delivering the adequate pressure to the forward clutches. That's why it caused them to burn up. You can see how burnt the uh, steel plates and the fibers are in this image. Fluid is very black. Uh, material coming from the torque converter. You know the vehicle's got 110,000 miles on it. There's no signs of it that have ever been changed prior to this. You can see the pump is scored up from that debris from the converter going in the pump. Also, you can see the uh, filter here has got metallic debris built up in the filter. Possible causes of transmission failures for the 6L80 and the 8L90. Extended service intervals, not changing the fluid. This vehicle here had 100,000 miles on it and reviewing the records, never had a transmission service. Now if you look in your owner's manual, it'll tell you what the service interval is on your transmission. It may say 50,000, 60,000, may say lifetime fluid. Well, I've got some news for you guys. There's no such thing as lifetime fluid. If you're living in an area where the temperature changes drastically in the winter through the summer, you're going to get condensation in that fluid and that water in that fluid is going to damage transmission over time. Aggressive duty cycles, prematurely wearing torque converter clutch. It's kind of like this. If you have a manual transmission vehicle and you ride around all day with the clutch half engaged, it's going to wear the clutch out. So the clutch inside the torque converter, these aggressive duty cycles, cycling in and out the torque converter clutch, is just prematurely wearing it out. So you're getting that debris off the clutch, it's going to cycle through the pump causing pump damage. Been noticing a lot of issues with the 2014 and up GM trucks with torque converter failures. My myself had a 2015 Silverado with the 8L90 in it and I put a torque converter in it at 500 miles. So it uh, started shuttering right away pretty much when it was new. Wrong fluids used. I am recommending the mobile synthetic LV ATF HP this new fluid has advanced uh, friction properties in it. So it helps dissipate that water that we had talked about with condensation building up. Helps preventing from that torque converter clutch from glazing over. If you can catch the torque converter shutter early on, this fluid may fix the concern. But if you've gone too far, then you're going to have to change the torque converter. And if you've gone too far with the bad torque converter, then you can see what it did to the transmission. So if you do get a new transmission installed, I definitely recommend this fluid. I put this new fluid in my truck and it made a world of difference. The fluid is definitely recommended on the 8L90 and I think you may see here pretty quick that the 6L80, they're gonna start recommending this new fluid other than the Dextron 6. Always have that latest calibration programmed into the transmission control module. If you had talked about with the aggressive duty cycles, GM is always coming out with new shifting strategies. So it always definitely check with your dealer and make sure you have the latest calibration programmed in there. And then we have the obvious leaks. GM has problems with transmission cooler lines leaking, so you want to check that. Then if you abuse your vehicle, you want to definitely change the transmission fluid more often. If you're towing with it, Definitely want to get new fluid in there all the time. Makes a huge difference. Then we're kind of back to the number one. Change the fluid. A little maintenance goes a long ways. 
always watch for end screens guys i'll attach end screens to this uh, 6l80 and 8l90s for other failures thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe